There are two pages in the theory book that go with Come See the Parade in the lesson book, and I'm going to go over both of them with you right now. On the first page, they want you to draw the notes that they tell you on this staff. And at the beginning, it says to draw a base clef. So you'll notice that the base clefs are all missing. So your job is to draw them. And if you forget what they look like, there's one sitting right here. Um, then you can draw the notes that they want you to do. They're all bass clef notes. And in case you have trouble remembering, here is my poster with the ant on the top line. So that will help you remember A, and then you can always count down G, and then go down one more, and F. And that will help you, or you can go up and get B. Remember B is the bunny note with its head sticking out of the burrow? That will help you with those notes right there. On the second page, they want you to do a couple of things with this. So the first thing they want you to do is look at the letters here and then match up which one of these has those letters. And then what they want you to do is they want you to sight read. So we've never really done sight reading before in these lesson books. And so I'm going to tell you how to sight read. To sight read, what you want to do is take a look, take 30 seconds to a minute and look at all of the music that you're going to be playing. In this first part, it's the first line, because here's our double bar line, that's our stop sign. So they want you to look at it, and so you, you are going to be saying, okay, what does my right hand do? Where does my right hand start? What happens after that? Does it go up or down? Do my notes repeat? Where does my left hand start? What notes do I have in the left hand? Do my left hand and right hand trade off? Are there any places where my hands play together? Those are the questions you're going to be asking yourself and looking at when you're looking at this music before you play it. Once you have finished doing that, you can place your hands on the keyboard and then start. And the first rule of sight reading is that if you make a mistake, just pretend like you meant to do it that way and keep going. Under no circumstances can you go back and fix your mistake and start over again.